Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. I'm clutching my coffee mug. I don't know why. Is it warm? <laughs> no, warm it's just, it just has no water in it. Yeah, so just, but I just found, your found my, it's my security blanket in these days. Oh, yeah. well, we all need something right exactly. about now. Exactly, um, it's absolutely true. And uh, maybe one of the benefits right now is that you're at home watching us. Governor Wolf has ordered the stay-at-home order, and it went into effect last night. So we know that a lot more people are going to be home following his order. Yeah, and people are wondering, you know, why was that necessary? And it was necessary because not enough people were staying at home. Not enough people were, and certainly many people are. Many right. people are heeding the, the advice and understand why it's important to do the social distancing and everything else. But he wanted to, to make sure to get as many people as possible to do this because it's important, you know. So under this order, things um, that are necessary that you can leave for, if you have to go to the grocery store or to get takeout, drive through food, um, prescription, if you have a doctor's mm -hmm. appointment, things that really are necessary, then that's okay. Right. If you, even if you need to get outside to take a walk and get a little bit of exercise, that's okay. But it's just keeping your social distance. Um, and I was actually looking at something earlier where they were saying that at first, the social distancing, we were all treating it like it was too cute. Like right. the, this fist bumps and the elbow bumps right. and that we were treating it like, yeah, sure, we'll stay away, but we can still touch a little bit. Right. And doctors are saying, no, no, no. Keep your distance, really. Well, it was interesting. Yeah, the Surgeon General was talking about uh, elbow bumping. Yeah. And then the WHO came out and said, no, you don't even want to be that close. Right. You know, right. You, really keep the six six feet away. And that's why we're doing, you know, we look we different are. on the show here because. I miss human interaction. <laughs> I, <laughs> no. <laughs> we're going to get through this. We're going to get through it. It's hard. It, it is really hard. It is hard. Yeah. Um, something else you may notice, this is something that Giant Eagle has said mm -hmm. that they are committed to doing. They want to keep not only their customers safe, but also their employees. We were hearing from some employees and customers about this. So plexiglass is going to be going up at Giant Eagle stores, at market districts, at the pharmacies. You're going to see this. I think it kind of makes sense. Yeah. When you think about the cashiers that, you know, all those people come through, we're all still allowed to go to the grocery store. And, you know, everyone coming through who may not even realize that they could be carrying the coronavirus. Maybe the symptoms haven't started yet. And so I just think it's a good safety precaution, a safety measure. But you will see that uh, next time you go to the Giant Eagle. Doesn't that make sense all the time? I mean, really. Maybe it does, but it's kind of... You know, I, well, once again, I'm in favor of get rid of those touch pads that we all have to touch. I know. I, that's big for me. It's before all this stuff. I just don't like them. Well, we have said um, that we really are committed. We wanted to make sure that we are giving you that break that you need from all of this because it's very Absolutely. heavy. Oh it is gosh. very heavy. Um, so we've been looking for things. You've been sending them in, some positive stories to share with you. And I love this. I saw this on Steel City's Instagram page. I, I think it's great. Yeah. It really captures, we showed another sign yesterday, but look at this. So Steel City, this is their store downtown, which they've had to close. But look, tough times didn't break us. They made us. Yeah. And you know, those kind of slogans, you, you, someone, someone might say, oh, it's trite. No, I think, I think we a need reminder. To, to have this kind of stuff. And they're selling t shirts right now online with that slogan, I love which I that. think is super smart. I want one. Maybe we should both get one. We should. Yeah. And then right. wear them on the show. We're going to have a shopping visit have, after the show is over. Can we have Casual Friday? We'll wear jeans and our new Steel City t shirts. I bet we can do whatever. Jill? Jill says, yes. like Jill, says yes. right, Jill says, says yes. Jill says yes. She loves okay. it. Of All course right. she does. Oh, Jill wants me to wear my red shoes. I'll wear the red shoes with my with jeans. Oh, yeah, you'd look good. I got good. my red shoes on today. Yeah. All right, well, something else we wanted to share, as many good deeds as we possibly mm -hmm. can. And, and you know what? There are a lot of them happening right now. A viewer sent us this picture of floral bouquets with a note that said, our neighbors had to shut down their florist shop. They handed out bouquets of flowers to the neighborhood. And I mean, how kind is this? Otherwise, I mean, if they had to shut down the florist shop, the flowers are going to die, you know, so this is such a nice way to brighten people's days. You well, know? I think it's because we've lost that interaction, the human contact that mm -hmm. we were talking about. I think these little gestures go a long way just to know that, yeah, we still yeah. have friends. It's so all going to get back to normal one day. <laughs> it will get back to we normal hope. one day. Now, this happened in Lawrence Cecil Township, yeah. I should say, as well. All right.
You are really excited about this next piece Oh, I of love video. this. So I, I found and I haven't this. Seen this. I found this on Twitter yesterday. Okay. So, you know, people have been cooped up for a long time already, yeah. for some people, you know, and some people are getting a little loopy at this point. And That's this one, me. okay. I'm, lo I'm losing it. <laughs> You're losing it. Oh. All right, well, this, this couple came up with something clever, and the music kind of goes along with this. So just listen and watch what they were able to do. <laughs> okay, so people are really bored. People are really bored. But I think this is clever and it does look like a horse. And I love this song. I remember this song from riding the school bus when I was a kid. They would ride the horse with no or play a horse with no name. But it just fits, you know? And whatever it takes I to get that. us through. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So that's we just so thought fun. that was cute. Well, I could not wait to show that to you. I that told her this morning before the show. Wait till you see the couple that does the horse. So that's great. Yeah. So uh, something else that I saw on Facebook, and this is from a high school friend of mine, Ashley, and her husband Ray. They're both so into fitness. I've never met a couple that's more physically fit than these two. And do you like them? Yes. Well, okay. I know. I am a little jealous. <laughs> I wish that I could look like that. Of course, but, yeah. we like them. Uh, but they're instilling the same stuff in their kids. So they are all stuck at home. And so they posted this video. I want you to take a look uh, at this uh, on Facebook. I love her attempt at doing push-ups here. This is me doing push-ups, Heather. Have you seen me do push-ups? <laughs> But you know, even if you have a small space and it looks like they were using part of the bedroom at one point running back and forth, you know, you can make you can make it fun. Absolutely. I mean, you there can are make so many creative things that you can be doing. Long jump, how far can you go? Right. Shall we make a combine here? I, <laughs> oh, studio? we could do this with you, me, and Ron. <laughs> so, oh, I kind of like that. So thanks I'm competitive. To, I like it. Thanks to Ashley and Ray for sharing that and allowing us to use it this morning. Also, the music fun. makes so much. Yeah. You know, when you add really the does. music to that video and then all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> Competition. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of uh, keeping kids occupied, Steve Hartman from oh, CBS. I love, this. I love Steve Hartman. Me too. Steve Hartman, when his stories come on the CBS Evening News, and if you don't know his name, he's the feature guy. Like they run his stories on Friday and then they run it on CBS Sunday morning. He's the one that you need to have a box of Kleenex because every time, every time, every he, time. he gets you. So this week he is working from home. So every day at two o'clock mm -hmm. for a half hour, he is having a class and he's teaching he says have your kids watch he will teach your kids every day at two o'clock on on the CBS Evening News Facebook page and it's a class called kindness 101 we're just waiting for people show up to show up to class George will also happen also help if we have any um, comments or questions that you guys want. Okay, class is about to begin. Hopefully, everybody's here. <laughs> All right. Wouldn't they be a great teacher, I too? He would. I love, I mean, you can tell he just has such a big heart. I, and I saw the announcement about this a little up. too late, like okay. an well, hour yeah, after right. it had started. So I missed it yesterday. I but met him in person right. once. Did you really? I met him in person. It was a horrible incident. It was after 9 11. It was in Shanksville. But CBS had sent him there, and I met him there. And I wanted to say all the things that you want to say to this man that yeah. you, you watch his stories and you think you're a genius and instead because of with the environment and what was happening I didn't have a chance to right. do that I just was able to say hi but it was just a thrill because he's such a good storyteller he is he just he captures the human spirit you may know then do you know the story that he told about the girl and her duck it was no, one I of my know. favorites no You'll a girl and her duck oh it, that story okay, really tears <laughs> He gets me. I, I rarely make it through a Steve yeah. Hartman story without crying. Yeah, it's, it's true. Yeah, it is true. All right. Someone who doesn't make me cry is Ray Petlin. Unless you're laughing. <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah. He can make you laugh <laughs> until you cry. Yeah. But he had a very different sort of family outing over the weekend. And we've shown you some of these chalk your walk messages. Right. Well, take a look at Ray's family because only Ray Petlin would have a drone fly over the driveway and capture this. But How did he keep it in place so still? I don't know. I have so many questions for Ray. So, but he has music set to Dad this, too. Dad rules. Uh, 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 did, no, wait. Did his daughter write that, or did uh, Ray write that? No, <laughs> spring. 
Oh, look how fun that I is. I love it. So they did it over the weekend, so sadly it might be washed away now. But we just wanted to share this because Ray shared it on Facebook, and I just think it was awesome. So yet something else you can do with your family. Yeah. Get outside today. It's going to be dry, so get we'll get, okay. we'll get Ron's right. forecast on that later. But I bet Ray's a great dad. Oh, I bet he's a great dad, too. Yeah. yeah. I think he's probably doing a we, good job keeping the kids occupied. All right. So, you know, as people are all inside, yeah. sometimes even the people that love you the most and that you love the most, uh -oh. sometimes there can be friction. Uh-oh. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes people don't always get along. And especially, you know what, these are stressful times, too. Well, I was going to say, yeah. and being like yesterday, and admittedly, it's probably out of line a couple times. We, I yelled at the kids multiple times yesterday, and it was really just because we were stuck indoors and they're screaming and yelling and it's raining outside and we can't even send right. them outside. Right. You know, so you get, there, there is some tension. Sure. Well, yeah. And you have to give yourself a break there. But today's oh, list, <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> okay. Dr. Highfield's in the house, Heather Abraham. All right, so this is today's list, and it is things that you can do during this isolation. Perhaps they're even more poignant. This is from uh, Embrace Possibility. It's a website, and it's all about getting along. Number one is make getting along your goal. If you make that your mindset, that can make a big difference. Okay. Number two, accept your spouse or partner for who they are and will be. Okay. Okay. Uh, number three, recognize your spouse has good intentions and give them the benefit of the doubt. And ask how they're feeling. David, how are you feeling today? I'm okay today, Heather, but thank you for asking. <laughs> how are you feeling today, Heather? Well, I'm great. Okay. <laughs> And That's number, what I five, tell myself. <laughs> number five on the list is maybe the impossible one right now. Mm -hmm. Give each other space. I mean, there's only so like much more space. More than six feet? <laughs> well, more than six <laughs> feet, yeah. But, you know, in, in, uh, especially in these times, if you have a small apartment, there's not a lot of spaces to retreat to. We saw the video right. yesterday of Susan Copen hiding in her bed. She, she's like on Facebook. <laughs> I'm in the only clean room in the house, I'm in the bathroom, <laughs> I'm by myself. <laughs> I totally it's get funny. it. You know, I do think that that's all very true. I think sometimes if you can take even just a minute to yourself and remind yourself, yes. you know, of all the positive things and, you know, oh, calm it makes yourself a down and reevaluate, re it's good. Yeah. Uh, and so I had, had said earlier that I was going to reveal why I was late to work yeah, today. Yeah, so what happened? <sighs> all right. This is embarrassing, oh, but I tell you. Your avocado toast got burned? <laughs> no, no. The, you avocado, ran out of the avocado toast was fine, Heather. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, so I, because there's a little bit of gray that sometimes shows up in my beard. Yeah. And I like to call them very blonde hairs, uh -huh. but they're, they're gray. So sometimes I use a product, and I won't say the name of the product, but it's just for men. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And anyhow, it works you, fine sometimes. You rub joke? it in, and then you wash it. Yeah, I meant it as a joke. Okay, but yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. you rub it, you know, and then you hop in the shower, you wash it out, and it's fine. It's just, you know. Well, this morning I put it on and then got distracted. And, and then I realized, oh my gosh, I put this stuff on. I haven't gotten in the shower yet. Uh -huh. uh, so I get out of the shower and even it was after. Like just for lions. It was, oh my gosh. Yeah. So then I just like scrub, 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 and uh, and then I shaved it down a little bit, and now I think it's okay. I would have but never known really? had you not told me. Yeah. So I should not have said anything. I just wanted to. No, explain. I'm glad that you did. I texted. I texted <laughs> Jill. Gonna be late. I'm having a mishap. <laughs> So. Just for a minute. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, normally it's a, it's a fine product, but anyway. Don't right. get distracted. Don't that's, get distracted. That's the lesson or, learned. Yes, exactly. All right, it's time to take a break. Jill is telling us, but don't go anywhere because we have so much more ahead. We have important information for parents about how to talk to your kids about coronavirus. Parenting expert Dr. G suggests different messages for children based on their ages. Plus, how to clean your home to keep you and your family safe. How deep do we need to go? What surfaces to hit and what products work? Mikey Hood sorts it all out for us ahead. And then just for fun, a look at a home you will be get green with envy for. It is a green home and it's the winner of this year's best design by Pittsburgh Magazine. That and a whole lot more coming your way. PTL continues on this Tuesday, March 24th. Thank you for being with us.